Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Tony Delisio, and I'm a physical therapist with Kali Physical Therapy and Rehab. Today I'd like to talk to you about some breathing techniques that you can do at home in order to enhance your function with your daily activities. Now there are a lot of different conditions in which people experience dizziness or shortness of breath. Now, if we focus more on the shortness of breath aspect, there are many conditions like Parkinson's disease and people who have different lung disorders such as COPD, of which they get a little weak in their core a little weak in their shoulders and in, in of the muscles of posture, and they start to compensate with abnormal breathing patterns. Over time, these abnormal breathing patterns will take away one's ability to fully enhance their ability to complete daily activities, such as getting dressed, walking in the, in the community, uh, and bathing. So one thing that we can focus on if we have some of those conditions is a form of breathing called diaphragmatic breathing, and that's just a fancy medical term for belly breathing. People who have Parkinson's disease, people who have COPD, tend to develop what's considered a barrel chest deformity or a, an upper respiratory or an upper body breathing pattern in which they actually use the muscles of their shoulders and their pectorals to breathe in instead of their diaphragm or instead of their core. So a very simple exercise that we can do to help combat that issue is called diaphragmatic breathing. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take one hand, put it on our chest, another hand, put it on our belly. What we want to focus on is taking deep breaths in and avoiding expansion of the shoulders like I just did there. So if I turn this way, okay, actually it's better if you see this way, you want to focus on this lower hand moving in and out and not so much this upper arm moving in and out. You want to focus on engaging your diaphragm, the primary muscle of, of respiration. So you want to take a nice deep breath in. You see my lower hand move and then out. You want to avoid breathing in and my upper arm moves, breathing out. And you can do this in a seated position, just like this. One hand over the other, it doesn't really matter. Start with five breaths a minute and you can slowly progress to 10. The idea is for you to breathe normally like this for every breath that you take. Um, so again, the main thing that you wanna do is focus on that belly expanding, engaging your core. This arm or hand doesn't move at all. Now, if you're uncomfortable in the seated position and you, you know, it's, it's a little bit troublesome for you, you can actually lie on your back, put some pillows underneath your knees and do it that way. Um, that kind of takes a little bit of stress off of your back and it, it's, it's, you know, emphasizing that breathing position either way. If you have a question for us, you can give us a call or if you'd like to come in for an examination and think about some ways of which we can exercise and use these breathing patterns to enhance our daily activities, you can give us a call at 570-207-2787 and we'd be happy to take a look at you. Okay, thank you very much and have a good day.